Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video is going to be about wet and wild. We are going to be swatching their coffee cat lip glosses. They are actually six shades of the Coffee Cat lip glosses from Wet n Wild. And I have to tell you, these look so pretty. By the way, I think these are supposed to smell like actual coffee. So let me just read the description of what these are or what we should be expecting. So this is what it says on Ulta. Uh, it says that these are available in three limited edition shades, which are No FOMO, La Vida Mocha, and Deja Brew. All will warm your lips with natural color and, su and super shiny meow factor. The formula is enriched with watermelon seed oil, marula oil, zamenia seed oil, sunflower seed oil, baobab seed oil, I have no idea what that is, to help improve the texture of your lips. Hmm. And keep your pout nourished, supple and healthy. So it says, so settle in and cuddle up to these ultimate pick-me-ups for your pout. Coffee Cat is the perfect energy boost for your lips. Hmm, what a claim. So is it supposed to be like a lip plumping gloss? Because of that statement there, that's what I'm guessing. Coffee Cat is the perfect energy boost for your lips. Doesn't say that it's a lip plumping gloss, but is that what they're referring to? I have no idea, but we shall find out. These are also cruelty free gluten-free and vegan. So let's jump into it, shall we? So this is the shade No Foam O. Interesting name, very fun and interesting though at the same time. First impression, there is a hint of coffee smell. So that is definitely true. It's not empowering at first smell, but we'll see when I actually get it on my lips to see if it's you know, if it's stronger on my lips than it is, just smelling it out of the tube. It is a lot thicker than I like, but let's just get it completely on. I like that the doe foot applicator is very flexible. So as you can see, it's bending. That is nice. I definitely do get a milky pink from this. And now that it's on my lips, I'm not so sure that I like that coffee smell. It smells like stale coffee. I know it might just be this one, but it is just the first one. So let's not quickly jump into conclusions knowing that this is just the first one. I don't love it and I don't hate it, so I'm kind of caught in the middle. I would love to see how it actually fares off throughout the day. So yeah, this is the shade No FOMO. You know what, I don't mind this shade at all. This one is Deja Brew. Nothing crazy, but it's just a natural gloss that I can literally wear for my day-to-day -day errands and tasks. So these are the three limited edition shades that I just swatched. And my favorite out of these three was actually this one, Deja Brew. 
I really did like that one. These two, these two are also nice with that somewhat milky finish, but out of the three, Deja Brew was hands down my favorite shade. So now we're gonna move into the other three colors, which are the fun pinks right here. So we'll jump into the first shade. And this one is called Sprinkled With Love. All right, so we just finished up the swatches of the other three. You know, as I was swatching these, I realized that I was not really smelling coffee anymore. And then I actually looked at the tube and these are the ice cream B set. These are not the coffee cat set. So the first three that I swatched, those or these are the coffee cat uh, lip glosses and these are called ice cream B lip glosses so I actually just found that out so I thought I'd let you guys know that I didn't realize that at the start of the video so let's talk about some of the claims for these lip glosses it says that it helps to improve the texture of your lips which you know it's a gloss so unlike a matte lipstick it's not gonna emphasize any imperfections so it'll give you like an overall smooth glossy finish and it'll pretty much hide textures and imperfections because that's what lip glosses does it reflects light it has that very pearly shiny finish that reflects light and it just gives your lips a smoother, more glossy finish. So in all essence, most lip glosses do improve the texture of your lips. So give me a thumbs up if you also agree with that. Next, it says it keeps your pout nourished, supple and healthy. The thing is that you will not be able to tell right away if these lip glosses dry your lips out because right now it's fresh it's beautiful it feels good on the lips but after wearing it for some time that's when you'll actually get like a true feeling of how the formula will perform over time and how it will leave your lips over time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this on for a few hours just to see how it plays out throughout the day and we'll get a more true reflection of how this performs hey guys back again giving you guys an update on how this lip gloss perform so as you can see this is what it looks like now it completely um, not completely wiped off but the shine is not there anymore as when I first swatched them most naturally my lips are still very moisturized surprisingly it's been a little over three hours since I put the lip gloss on and the shine has completely left my lips, most naturally, as I eat and drink. I waited until I had dinner, I drank some water, and I had some little snacks throughout the day as well. So this is the result. I have to tell you though, my lips are very moisturized. They do not feel dry whatsoever. And um, they do feel supple, like that's, that's real. It feels very supple and soft, and it feels like they're still ripe in my lips after all the eating and drinking. And um, I am happy with it. I am completely happy with how this performed, of course. It's a gloss, so it will transfer throughout the day, and I did not reapply it just because I wanted to see how it will perform on a regular day doing regular activities. So this is what um, it looks like now and it looks like I have nothing. Like I said, the shine is not there, but my lips are completely moisturized. Um, 
there's still a little bit on there. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of shine on the back of my hand. Um, so there's still a little bit left on there, but like I said, that high gloss finish is not there anymore. And you know, that's really not very shocking because like I said, it's still lip gloss. So yeah, this is what it looks like after three hours of wearing with eating and drinking in between. So um, yeah, that is just my review of these glosses. And by the way, I found out that both of the groups are limited editions. So we have the Coffee Cat lip glosses and we have the Ice Cream Bee lip glosses. So both of those are limited edition lip glosses and they are for $1.79 on Ulta. So you may or may not find them since they're limited edition, but um, so if you're thinking about getting them, then you should probably hop on the website like right now. But that is my review guys. I hope you like this video. If you did, drop a comment in the comment section or just give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and it helps me to continue to provide more content like this for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next Lipstick Swatch video. Bye!